Hi, I'm Angel with Fleece Fun, and I'm going to show you a fun and probably different project for Fleece Fun because it doesn't involve fleece at all. I really enjoyed making the star pillows, but I wanted to do something that was very Americana, that was pieced together, and using a really fun technique called ragging. Now, one of the reasons that I like to sew on fleece is that you don't have to worry about finishing the edges, and that is actually what ragging is also. You don't have to worry about finishing the edges. Actually, you purposefully want to destroy them, so it's kind of fun. So I'm going to show you how to make a couple of different star pillows that are pieced together, that you're going to rag, that make a great, fun Americana pillow. Great for summer holidays. First thing you're going to do is assemble the pattern. And if you want directions on that, there is um, instructions available on YouTube as well as my website as to how to assemble the pattern. So we're just going to move past that to the first step, which is cutting out the pattern. Now, I like how these two pillows look together, so if you're going to do it, I say cut them both out together. Now, each star has um, five pieces, so I and actually six pieces on one of them. And I like to use different fabric for all of them. So I basically, quarter yard of fabric, you can make both pillows, or I should say both pillow fronts, and then you'll want half a yard for the center star on one of the pillows. And then for the back side of the pillows, you're probably going to want anywhere between a third to a half a yard for the back side if you don't want to also do piecing on the back side as well. The other thing you're going to need is some long strips for the pillows. One is on the larger side, so it's going to be a longer strip. It's going to be about um, 74 inches. And then the other one is shorter. It's about 68, I believe. Um, three and a half inches by 68, and you're just going to cut those out. I like to just use a rotary color and rotary cutter and a uh, ruler just to cut those out really fast and easy. You will, of course, have to sew a couple ends together to get the length that you need. We're going to sew it together. Now, most things, when you put it together, it's a quarter inch seam when you're quilting, but because we're ragging, these are designed with a half inch seam, so you get some really nice ragging edges on that. So you're going to have a half inch seam and you're just going to start piecing the pillow together. I like to start with A and just work your way <laughs> around the alphabet with each piece. So half inch seams, put them together. And instead of putting right sides together, you're going to put wrong sides together because you want the seam sticking out. I know, it's a little bit different, it's crazy. So wrong sides together, sew the star together. So now you have your front side of your star, you've sewn all your seams together. And with the piece that has the center star in it, I recommend doing all the outer pieces until you get to the last piece, before you get to the very um, last piece E. Put in the center star F and then sew on piece E. All right, so you've sewn all this together. Now you've got this great star. So what are you gonna do next? You're going to sew on the center piece. And again, wrong sides together because you want the seam sticking out. You're gonna sew point to point. It's just the easiest way to do it on a star and much simpler. So point to point all the way around with the seam sticking out. Now you're going to get to your back side. Before you start adding on your back side, because we're going to be running this through the washer to begin the ragging process, before we stuff it, you need to actually sew um, about a three to four inch seam on the side seam and on the back. Um, that's going to be where your gap is for turning and everything, but you don't want that fabric to unravel too much. You're going to sew a seam on each side, so when we go to unravel it, that doesn't become unraveled as well. Next, you're going to put your back side on. If you haven't pieced together your back side, you're just going to slap on this, the big star and you're going to, of course, pin it, so point to point, leaving a section open for turning. Now comes the part that takes a little bit of time and a little patience and little bit of hand power is you're going to cut little slits all along each seam all over the pillow and this is going to help with the ragging process it's going to encourage the fabric to fray and we really want it to fray we want it to get very shabby chic looking with how frayed it's going to be so we're going to help it along by about every quarter inch or so cutting a little snip in the fabric along every seam all over the pillow all right once you've accomplished that what you're going to do is you're going to take your pillow and you're going to throw it in the washer and you're going to probably wash it on cold if it's really bright primary colors because you don't want colors to run all over it and don't worry about adding detergent and it's also best that you do two pillows at a time because the agitation against the other fabric 
really helps with it. So you're going to run that through once, maybe even twice if you want through the washer, and then you're going to dry it as well. And again, you probably want to dry it a little more on the cool side because you don't want the fabric to shrink up too much. Once you've accomplished that, it's really great and frayed. You're going to go and you're going to stuff your pillow. Stuff each point, then the center, and then you can actually machine stitch it close, just force it under the machine and sew right across. Or you can hand stitch it close right there. Now if you desire, and I think it looks best on the pillow with the inset star, um, put on a button. All you're going to do is you're going to take a needle of thread, you're going to go up through the center, go through your button all the way back. And I like to put a button on the other side to stabilize it. And I like to use thick thread, I like to use buttonhole thread because it's a very good sturdy thread and there's a little bit more tension on that button and I think it's a good thread to use. So there you have two beautiful shabby chic Americana stars. Perfect for summer holidays. I actually like to give them away for gifts during the summer or two. For more free patterns, you can visit All Free Sewing. You can also visit my website, fleecefun.com. All of my patterns are free as well. So have a great day and some fleece fun.